Welcome to India. I hope Thank you, you enjoy your stay. Thank you very And much. also many congratulations. You pulled quite a mega feat off. I so, you know, I'll start with your character. Yes. And he's actually, he can, he's complex. And also in Tolkien, he's just a side note because he's saying he could either beat this or he could, be, uh, could either beat that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So was that tough for you to play the Lord of the Elves who could go either way? On the contrary, it was a real, it was very exciting. Well, no, it wasn't tough. It was a challenge because, well, first of all, we're faced with the challenge of, of filling in where Tolkien has left, uh, filling in his sketches, his blueprints. Um, but the exciting part is to then build a character based on that. Um, and, and yes, I like, to, I like to keep him complex and, and um, wonder, you know, I like to keep people wondering about what, even if you know where he goes in the story and what he does, yeah. it's nice to, to have a bit of mystery about him. Hmm. And you're, you are the immortal, actually. He starts at 60 and goes up to like 3,500 years <laughs> of age. So <laughs> playing Elrond, what was that like for you? Because also his backstory, you know, mm. he's had a turbulent past. Yes. And then also he is the lore master in, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings. Yes. But here he's a valiant warrior. So what was that like for you? Mm. Well, I think there's a, a, some of the things that you've mentioned. Um, one of the funniest things about playing him is we aren't there yet, you know. Yeah. Um, he's quite far away from the Council of Elrond, from all of the great deeds of his life. And so, you know, starting with this half-elven creature, this unique thing in the elven world, um, was a really exciting um, jumping off point for him, you know. So what was your interpretation of Kalimbor when you were reading him? And what were the aspects that you drew upon? He also was the one who forged those rings. And yes, there's a does. lot of history. Yes, there is. But, but again, what's so nice is that Tolkien only hints at it. Um, but I think what drew me to him was that he was, um, well, he's, he, he, was he, he goes down a path that he doesn't intend to go down. And that's interesting. Um, he's, he's, you know, conflicted. Um, and, but again, we're, we're not there yet, but um, it, Tolkien said it, so it happens. But uh, we're yet to find out how that develops. And also, are the two of you a fan of Tolkien's work? Very much so. <laughs> Both of us are massive fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what was that like when they came to you and said, you are playing Elrond? What was that like for you? I mean, oh, it was, other yeah. than the burden of all the fans waiting with anticipation. Yeah, it's, it's one of those moments that you never forget. And, it, you know, when, when you first get told, when I first got told that I was playing him, it was a very personal moment. You know, I wasn't mm. thinking about any of that. I was thinking more about, like, the kid in me that loved Elrond, was really intrigued about Elrond, and was really excited at the prospect of playing him. So it is really a dream come true. And then now, obviously, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a very overwhelming uh, thing. But, yeah. But really exciting too. Yeah. I mean, we're riding a, qu a quite extraordinary wave at the moment. Now, now it's about to be released, and we're allowed to talk about it. We've been having to be very careful for the last <laughs> few two years, you yeah. know, plus. Um, so it's it's lovely to sit here and talk to you about it. Yeah, I mean, five seasons, 50 hours of like video. I mean, quite a feat you pulled off. And also the languages. There's so many languages. There is. Have you picked up something, a word that you really enjoyed and like, you know, could play upon? A favorite word from the many languages of... I think I've yet to, I've yet to speak Elvish in the show. Um, I'm sure it's coming because hmm. I've had lots of lessons. But I think one of my favorite words in the show is the name of Ellen Deal's... Um, daughter, which is Aarian, mm -hmm. which I think is a beautiful name. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Well, yeah, I do, I do speak some English in the show, which is great. Um, and, you know, we, we explore Quenyan in the show, which, which is a really different, you know, the syncopation of it is really different to Sindarin, for example, which is, um, you know, much more melodic. Um, so exploring that and investigating um, how Mr. Tolkien wanted us to, to speak it was a really fun part of the job. Also, we have a brilliant dialect coach who is very, very well wow. versed yes. in, uh, in Tolkien, um, who's helped us along the way. Other than your characters, who is actually a character you would wish to play in from Tolkien's book? <laughs> well, well, when I was young, I always wanted to play Sam in, <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. That was my, and I, I still do, secretly. <laughs> oh, Sam's great. <laughs> yeah, Sam's a good part. What um, about you? I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, really. Um, 
Yeah, I've just always been in love with Elrond, so it's quite a boring answer, but <laughs> it is the truth. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and also, if you were to get the rings of power in your hand, what would you do mm. since you are the man, the mastermind? I can do with them whatever I like. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that you would want to do. Well, what they do, well, invisibility, I think, is, a, is, mm. a, is ideal. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Age. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, just disappear. Yeah. What about you? I don't know really. I, mean, I think one of the things that's really poetic about them is that they sort of enhance sort of what's already there yeah. inside of you, you know? So maybe it would give you a surprise where you to put it on and, you know, the gifts it could give, the, the rings could give you. Yeah. And you're also not new to the fantasy universe you've done Game of the Thrones. What is it that you enjoy most? About fantasy? See, about fantasy. I, I, I just think it's so universal, it's so accessible and especially Tolkien invites everyone to the table you know and I, what I like about our show is we're making it for today and it's it's, it's inviting everyone mm -hmm. um, and hopefully it draws people to the books thank you so much and before we go I know there's a lot of anticipation also this aspect has not been dealt in cinema before told, and then we interpreted Tolkien's work what is it that you would want to tell the fans who are waiting with bated breath I think the fact that the, this isn't a film or a series of films it is it's a it's like reading the book, or reading one of Tolkien's books. It takes its time. We can do that because it's television. It's, it's, it luxuriates in the scenery and the epic scope of it. It's, uh, it th that's what I would tell them. Mm. Well, what would you tell them? Because everybody's waiting for your character's development and seeing <laughs> where you know, go from there. Yeah, I would, ag I would agree with Charlie. I, th I, I, you know, I, I think um, you know, we've, got, we've got time. Uh, it's a very different age in Middle-earth to those who know Middle-earth. But to those who don't, it's also a story that you can embrace for the first time. Thank you so much. Uh, all the very best. Looking forward to it. And enjoy your trip to India. Thank Lovely you having you here. Thank you so much. Here.